Lesson 3-6 is products and quotients of powers. Now remember, products, that means multiply, quotients, that means divide, okay? Now, of course, powers, this is exponents. So let's start with the identity exponent property. Now, the identity exponent property says that um, any number raised to the first power is equal to itself. So if I have, um, for example, 2 to the first power, that's equal to 2. If I had 3 to the first power, that's equal to 3. Okay? So, and so forth. So, you can simplify any number raised to the power of 1 using that identity exponent property. Okay? Now, the next property, the zero exponent property, that's a fun one. Let's see. The zero exponent property. And you guys, make sure you label your notes at the top with the title and make sure you write down both of these properties and all of the notes that I'm writing on here. Okay? So, the zero exponent property says you can simplify any non-zero number raised to the zero power. So, that this one says that any number raised to the zero power is equal to one. Now, let's talk about that. Let's actually talk about both of them, okay? So the first one, let's, let's do A and B, okay? All right, let's do A and B, and I'll do the first example of B. So there's example A, and let's say we had 2 to the third power. So 2 to the third power, that means 2 times 2 times 2, right? If I had 2 to the second power, 2 squared, that means 2 times 2. And then if I had 2 to the first power, that means just 2. Does everybody see, everybody see how it just, it just keeps coming down, down, down? So here, so 2 to the first power, and that is the identity property right there. Anything raised to the first power is equal to, to itself, okay? Now, let's take a look, look at the zero property. So let's start with three to the third power. Three to the third power is three times three times three, okay? Three to the second power, three times three. 3 to the first power, so this is exactly what we did over here, 3 to the first power is 3. Now, we want to know, what are we going to get when we get to 3 to the 0 power, okay? So, let's look at what these are, are equal to. So, 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. And then 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. And then here we just have 3. I'll just leave it, leave it at that. And then we want to figure out what goes, what goes here. Okay? So let's look at this pattern here. Um, if from going to, to, from 27 to 9, did we see that 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9? Right. And then 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So, I want to divide by 3 again. So, from 3 to divide by 3, this is going to be equal to 1. So, 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. So if you continued the example a to uh, two to the zero, you will see you would see that um, you would get the same thing. Let's do it. So here, two times two times two, that's eight. Two times two, 
is 4. So if I am going from 8 to 4, I'm dividing by 2. And then I go from 4 to 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So when I come down here, 2 to the 0 power, okay, and then I want to know what is going to be right here, we can divide 2, we can divide 2 divided by that 2 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 1. So it works over there too. All right, so let's talk about the product of powers property. Okay, write this down. Write this down. The product of powers property. So this says to multiply powers with the same base, we want to add their exponents. Now before we continue, let's just talk about what, what we just said. So we're talking about powers and bases and exponents. So let's say we've got uh, 2 to the third power, okay? 2 to the third power. The big number here, this big number, this is the base. Make sure you write this diagram down. This is the base, in addition to that the uh, property. And this up here, we already know that is the exponent. And the whole thing together is called a power. So this whole thing together, 2 to the third, is called a power. Well, let's just, let's just write power. So the whole thing is power. The big number is the base. The little number is the exponent. Okay? So let's do some work. So we want to know, we want to multiply numerical powers with the same base. Now here... You can see we've got 9 and 9. We have the same base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it out. So I want you to know why things happen, okay? So 9 to the third is 9 times 9 times 9 times 2 to the second. That's 9 times 9. Now... If I wanted to write that um, using exponents, that would be 9 to the 5th power. Okay? Now look at that. How do I get from those two numbers to 5? Yeah. You just add the exponents. Okay? So here, the way you're going to show your work, so you don't have to show your work doing, doing all those nines. So you just show that you're adding your, ex, your uh, exponents. So here's in blue, here's how I expect to see your work. So we have 9 to the 3 plus 2. That's it. So this is going to be 9 to the 5th power. So that is one of your answers. Now, what if it asked you to... Um, to write a numerical equivalent, okay? Then in this case, you would have to um, you would have to uh, multiply it all out. So you do nine to the fifth power. Now, let me show you how to do that on your calculator. All right, on your calculator, you guys, you are going to be pressing this button right there. That is the X to the Y button, okay? So for this one, we're going to press 9, and then we're going to press that button right there, that X to the Y, and then we're going to type in the, um, the, X, the exponent 5. That's what you're going to do. So I'm going to do it on the computer calculator. Um, it's very similar uh, process to your calculator. All right, so we're going to type in, let me, so we're going to multiply 
we're going to type in 9. There's 9. And then I've got the, um, the x to the y right there, just like on yours. And on the computer calculator, it does a little caret like that. That's what that thing is called. Um, raised to the fifth power, and that's going to give us 59,049. And that's your answer. So the two different answers that you're going to get are that 5 to the ninth power, 5 to the ninth, and you're also going to have this as your answer also. All right, so without showing all this work on example B, why don't you press pause, do it on your own, and then let's take a look. So we have the same base, 4, and then we're going to take those two, ex those two exponents and add them together. So we've got 4, I'll write this down here, 4 to the 5 plus 3. So this is equal to 4 to the 8th power, 4 to the 8th, okay, and then we want to put it in the calculator to get a numerical answer, okay? So we're going to type in 4 and then the XY button to the 8th power, and we get 65,536. And there's your answer. Um, let me write this a little bit better. So we've got... 4 to the 8th, okay, 4 to the 8th, that's one of our answers, and here's our other numerical answer. Now, what if we have um, powers that have different bases, like these? Well, you can only, the rule is, you can only combine the, um, the powers, or you can only multiply the powers if they have the same base. Okay, so here we've got um, a base 2 to a, a 2, and we've got um, a power with a base of 2 over here. Then we've got this 3 to the 3rd and 3 to the 5th. So that's what we're going to combine. So to show your work, you're going to write 2 to the 4 plus 1 times... 3 to the 3 plus 5. And then you simplify that. So that's going to be 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 8th. That is your example if they ask you to write using exponents. If they ask you for a numerical answer, then you're going to multiply those out using your calculator. So, you're going to type in 2, so 2, and then the XY button, to the 5th power, that's 32, times 3, 3 raised to the 8th power, 6,561, and then you'll just multiply those two together. So 65, 65, 61 times 32, and that gives us 209,952. 209,952, and there is your numerical um, answer. Okay? So, go ahead and press pause, and then try example 2B on your own. All right. So, we're going to highlight what are the, the, what the powers with the same base. So, we have 5 to the 5th power and 5 to the 2nd power. You guys, see, even though there's no dot in there, you know that's multiplication. Okay? And then here we've got uh, 2 fifths to the second power, 
and two fifths uh look at that there's no number there what exponent in is it that's going to be to the first okay that goes back to our identity property because any number raised to the first power any number raised to the first power is it that is itself so here this is to the fifth to the one so you know there's a one in there okay so now we simplify so we have five to the five plus two times two fifths to the two plus one okay and now we can simplify our powers so we have five to the seven times two fifths to the third all right so if we asked you to write it using exponents this is what your answer will be okay now if we ask for a numerical we can simplify this now um we've got five to the seven so we're going to type in our calculator five raised to the seven and that's going to give us 78,125. 78,125. Now, this next one right here, um, you see, if I do this division, I can change that to a decimal. It's going to be a, a terminating decimal. So I can divide 2 divided by 5. And rather than doing two fifths to the third power, I can write four tenths. So this right here, I'm going to replace that with 0 0.4. And we're going to raise that to the third power. Okay? So we have 0 0.4 raised. X, that's the XY button, raised to the third power, and that gives us 0 0.064. So we're going to multiply this times 0 0.064. Okay? So now we can multiply. So that's 0 0.064 times 78,125, and that's going to give us 5,000. That's a nice number. All right, so here, 5,000, good job. And there is our numerical, numerical answer. All right, so moving on to the quotient of powers property. Now, the quotient of powers, this is for dividing powers. It says you can divide powers with the same base by subtracting the exponents. Let's see how this works. So here we have 2 to the 12th power divided by 2 to the 4th power. So let's go ahead and write this out. All right. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 2 to the 12th power divided by 2 to the 4th power. Okay. Now you guys remember um, any number divided by itself is equal to 1. That's how we cancel. That's how we simplify. So here we've got 2 divided by 2. That's equal to 1. Okay. Then we've got those 2 divided by 2. That's equal to 1. 1 times 1 is 1. See, it doesn't change anything. And then we've got those 2s. That's equal to 1. And then we've got those twos, that's equal to one. Now all of that is equal to one, and then what we have left in the numerator is two to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two to the eighth power. Now, how did you get from two to the twelfth divided by two to the fourth? So how did we get? from those numbers to 8. Well, just like we said in the rule, we subtract the exponents. 
So again, you're not going to be expected to show all of these twos. You're not going to show your work like that. You're just going to subtract the exponents. So here, I'm going to do it in blue. So the blue is your work. So you have 2 to the 12 minus 4. And 12 minus 4 is 8. So that is your answer using the power. Now, if we ask you to write a numerical expression, you will use your calculator. And we type in, we're using the XY button again. So we have 2 raised to the 8th power, and that's going to give us 256. So here, this is equal to 256. Okay? So here you have your answer using your powers, and you have your answer using your numerical, numerical uh, expression. Okay? So why don't you pause the video and do example 3B on your own. All right. So here we've got uh, a negative 9. So the base is negative 9. And we've got, um, we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract the exponents. So 7 minus 4. So negative 9 to the 7 minus 4. And that's going to be equal to negative 9 to the third power. And of course, when you're using your calculator, you just type it in. So we've got a negative 9, so 9 negative, raised to, that's the XY button, raised to the third power. And that's going to give us a negative 729. So this is a negative 729. So here we have our answer written using our exponents, and here we have our answer in numerical form. All right, so for example four, we're dividing numerical examples, I mean numerical powers, and again, there's a whole bunch going on here, but it's okay. I think we can we can highlight because we so we can um, identify what we're working with. So we want the same bases. So here we have a negative one base in the numerator and the denominator. We've got a positive two base right there, and we've got a positive three base right there. Okay, so. Again, you're just going to subtract the exponents. So we've got a negative 1, negative 1 to the 3 minus 1, I like to write them down, times 2 to the 6 minus 6 times 3 to the 5 minus 4. So, now we just simplify. So, this is going to be negative 1 squared, and put that in parentheses, times 2 to the 0, oh, you remember that, times 3 to the 1. Oh, remember that too. Okay? So, we know that um, 2 to the 0, that's equal to 1, right? 2 to the 0, that's equal to 1. We know that any number raised to the first power is equal to itself. So times 3. And then over here, we have a negative 1 squared. That means negative 1 times negative 1. That's going to be positive 1. So here, when we simplify this, we have 1 times 1 is 1, times 3 is 3. So this whole thing up here, this example 4a, simplifies to 3. Okay? So go ahead and pause the video and try example 4 on your own. All right, so here are my highlights. Okay? We've got 2 to 
to the 2 minus 0 times 5 to the 2 minus 1 times negative 3 to the 5 minus 3. So that's going to give me 2 to the second power, 2 squared, times 5 to the first power, times a negative 3 to the second power. Oops, let me put that at that. Okay. Parentheses goes, exponent goes on the outside. So this is going to be negative 3 to the second power. Okay? So now we simplify. So 2 to the second power, or 2 squared, is equal to 4. 5 to the first power, any number raised to the 1, is equal to itself. And times negative 3 squared, that means negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times a negative is a positive, so that's a positive 9. And now we multiply. So 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 9 is 180. So all of this up here simplifies to 180, and that is the end of the notes.